Hey there, you're listening to Life's Potluck Buffet. I'm your host, John Paulus. Thank you for joining me today. And to everybody who I met last night at the Creative Economy event, hello. Thank you for listening. I'm so grateful to have met you, and I'm so glad you're listening today. Uh, Yesterday's episode was all about the 1990s. Today's episode is about a bigger global trend, a more general one. So stick around and find out what it is and why on today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. So as you'll recall, yesterday I was talking about the 90s and I asked the cards, what is driving this 1990s trend on YouTube and in real life? <laughs> Although YouTube could be real life for, for in certain ways, so let's, let's, not, let's not make such a hard and fast distinction. I will say online and offline. So I asked the cards that question, and I got an answer about thinking about a mentor of mine, and so I thought back to the 90s and mentors, and I came up with some thoughts about remains of the day uh, because of an English teacher I had, and the that was published in 1989, and the movie was made in 1993, the remains of the day movie. So I guess the movie is a 90s trend, the novel is an 89 trend. So in a late 80s trend. So we talked about that. We talked about Hamlet. We talked about uh, briefly about just mentioning the American Museum of Natural History. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that still relates to. Um, but I was talking to someone last night uh, at, at, at at an event, and uh, I was telling them about the 1990s, and they said that they are just living in the world of Seinfeld. Uh, for sure. So, um, hi, if you're listening. And I think that just kind of confirmed to me that this is a, this 1990s trend is, uh, definitely a thing and not just kind of my perception of it and YouTube's perception of it, uh, together, I think, uh, made that I, I, I think it's a thing. Okay. So we'll think some more about that. Think about the fact that Seinfeld, I don't know if Larry David said this or if um, Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld said this, but the idea was that it was a show about nothing, right? Um, You know, purely situational uh, with new situations all the time. And it was built around the, the characters, right? The per- it was built around the personalities of the characters. So the, the, the topic of the show, it was in a sense nothing. So I, I don't know if that is a 90s, um, 90s trend uh, and that we're returning to where the topic of our cultural productions is kind of, in a sense, driven by personalities. That's for sure the case. So you think about, I mean, think about YouTube, right? And influencers and the idea of an influencer. Um, th- this is the 2023 take on a 1990s phenomenon of things being focused on, you know, like Seinfeld, on a, the individual personalities of characters, you know, in this case of the influencer or of the celebrity or of the uh, just person who's known, um, and as opposed to one specific topic which is very interesting because that's, you know, the, the, the way that brands work now, I feel like that's, that's, that drives them in a certain way is definitely around a, 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 a um, pers- personality rather than around a, um, even a product, right? You know, you think that like in the olden days when voiceover work, for example, on commercials used to be voiceover talent rather than celebrity talent. Um, that shows you the difference of attitude uh, towards uh, products, right? N- the growth of the celebrity talent um, as as more than just a kind of pitch person, but like the 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 symbol of a of a brand, right? The brand, this idea of brand ambassador. That idea is something that we we have right now, that is putting the character and personality of a of an individual 
even if that's maybe not their everyday personality, maybe it's a, a persona, so to speak. Maybe it's uh, be something that they're, um, you know, uh, uh, inhabiting, right? That it doesn't need to be their like everyday personality. Although I think that authenticity to us is very important. Um, that that their everyday personality match up with their persona, you know. So I imagine, like with The Rock, I imagine that the way that I see The Rock on YouTube and on TikTok is more or less how The Rock is in daily life. I don't know. Uh, it, it seems like it. I, I think that's a powerful thing when it is when those things overlap. And I think we're at at a point where that's more powerful than ever. So I think that's a lot like the '90s in terms of that Seinfeld idea. So thank you for giving me that Seinfeld idea. Uh, and um, again, it's really nice to nice to meet you all at the Creative Economy event last night. So, okay. So today's question um, is going to be: What will drive global trade, and to where? Okay. So this is about global trade, and what will drive going forward? What's going to drive global trade, and to where? Okay, oops, I just dropped, oh, I don't know if this is inauspicious, I just dropped two cards on the floor. I'm not sure, this is the first time that's happened, so I'm not sure what to do about that. I'm just going to put them back in the places that they were. Okay, and make sure I reassemble the pack the way it was. Okay, so I have the Life Spot, life, <laughs> I have the life spot Look Buffet cards. They are 55 cards, three wild cards, 52 numbered cards, and they have prompts about everything you do in life. So, here we go. I'm going to do what I do. So I'll start with my first kind of loose shuffle three times, just taking cards from the top and bottom. All right. And then I will split the deck in half. And then I'm going to move away from the microphone so I can shuffle, because as I was saying yesterday, really blows up the microphone. The levels are, like, off the charts. I've, there, I've seen – I saw some uh, – levels in the um, audio editing software that I've never seen before. <laughs> so I, I, who knew? It, it, really, shuffling cards is, I, I, I'm sure if you're an audio professional out there, you know, the shuffling cards really creates a lot of noise. Uh, yeah, decibels. Or something. It's not like a jet engine or anything, but you know. Okay, so I shuffled them, and now I'm going to cut the deck. Oops, all right. And I say, okay, what will drive global trade into where? All right, cards. Let's see what you got. It is card number 32. The back of your mind has a full-time job. Ask yourself a question to solve, then refinish a chair or run an errand or take a walk or do whatever your mind-clearing activity is. All right. While you're doing that activity, the back of your mind is solving the problem. Same is true with dreaming. Conscious problems are often solved by unconscious thought. All right. Unconscious thought. Okay. Well, you know, uh, it's interesting. I've had in the back of my mind for a while, and I don't think I discussed this on on the um on the podcast, but um, an idea about global trade and where it's where it's headed. Um, it's something. Uh, there are two factors here. W- what always drives global trade, in to my mind, to the back of my mind, and the front of my mind now, um, is people. Right. So where you have larger numbers of people, that's going to. Uh, be the driver of global trade. I mean, it's just a. I mean, it makes common sense, but I nobody nobody. I've never. I've I've rarely heard that said. You know, people talk about oh, rules make up global trade, and, and this and that, regulation, market forces, all sorts of like stuff like that. But honestly, like it, it's just the numbers, right? Uh, you know, if you have a billion people in population, um, that's going to drive to trade. Right. Just period. Okay, so like that's I mean, I don't know why people don't see that more often. I think, well, I won't go into details, but anyhow. Um, So right now, the most populous country is um, India. 
Now that uh, India surpassed China, I believe this year, or at least it's estimated to have passed, surpassed China in population. The biggest population growth, um, having read the UN population report, and these are things that I do, okay, so, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I, if you do that also, please let me know, we'll chat, I'd, be, I'd love, love to talk. But so reading the UN population um, reports from it's just recently, um, there is going to be, and there is, um, uh, very, very large growth um, on, in, in, on the continent of Africa. Um, there are certain kind of hotter spots than others in terms of where that population growth is going to happen. Um, there's kind of certainly in like central parts um, of Africa and um, uh, there's there's a sp- especially um, uh, pronounced uh, population growth coming and already is. And what that means is that to me is that the global trade is going to be um, focused on um, Africa. And that's where then that is where that is the where of to where global trade is going to be focused uh, going forward by 2050. I just saw the statistics as something like a 212% increase in the population of the continent of Africa and certain spots here and there um, that have larger, uh, larger number than that. So 12, 212, 212% growth is, is what we're talking about here. Um, I read a really interesting article a little while ago about the coastal road that goes along the western coast of, 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 of Africa, the western Atlantic coast. Um, that may be a really critical driver because it goes through several countries. And um, I think that, as I recall, the, um, the, the road yeah, ultimately leads to Nigeria there. And that's interesting because Nigeria, again, population growth um, large. Uh, so I think, we see, I think we're seeing that already. Um, and in fact, I know someone who's working on um, African um, trade um, in the future, uh, African trade of the future. Ah, see, that's a, as you know, that's the when you put things in that order, it's hopeful, right? If I said the future of trade, or the future of African trade, that would be a negative thing. But if I say African trade, African trade of the future, that's a positive way of phrasing it because it gives you a sense that it's gonna, it's it's gonna, it's gonna, it, there's gonna be you know growth and so forth. So, I definitely think that. The population period is what will drive global trade going forward. That means that we're talking about a big time um, uh, shift in the focus of global trade to uh, Africa. And so that is my thought about it. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments um, or just uh, get in touch with me and let me know. I'd be interested to hear, hear what you think. And thank you for joining me on today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. I really appreciate you listening. And if you want to find out more about Life's Potluck Buffet and the cards and the worksheets and the, the guide, Recipes for Success, head over to lifespotluck.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Life's Potluck Buffet here on YouTube if you haven't already. And have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.